Christian Kohler was a German psychologist known for his contributions towards the creation of Gestalt psychology as well as his very critical work on insight learning. His studies on the cognitive processes of apes allowed him to develop the theory of insight learning, which he later published in his novel The Mentality of Apes. His research greatly influenced the field of behavioral psychology and provided psychologists with a better understanding of intelligence and learning. He first began these experiments on the island of Tenerife in the Canary Islands, starting in 1913 with a group of seven chimpanzees. Kohler decided upon the use of chimpanzees due to their brains closely resembling those of humans. Kohler believed that he would likely be able to observe human traits from them, and he also wished to gain knowledge on the nature of intelligent acts through these animals. The experiment started with Kohler having several chimpanzees in an open room filled with objects such as wooden crates and bamboo sticks. He then let them get used to the area before tying a banana from a string to the ceiling of his room. He watched as the apes would repeatedly jump for the banana before seemingly giving up. However, instead of giving up, he observed the apes sit down and think for a while before having a flash of insight and began attempting to get the banana in a specific way. Whether it be stacking the boxes and climbing up to get to the banana, or using the poles as a makeshift javelin and knocking them down, not all of the apes completed this task at the same speed, with Sultan being able to retrieve the banana within one day, while another ape named Coco took several weeks. They all experienced the same flash of insight. Additionally, the insight was not always immediate or successful upon the first attempt. For instance, it took Sultan several tries with the boxes to figure out how to stack them in a way that would allow him to get to the banana without them tipping over. In the second part of his experiment, Kohler placed the chimpanzees individually within a cage. He gave each of the chimpanzees two bamboo poles while positioning a banana outside of the cage. He once again observed them trying to simply reach for the banana with their arms before figuring out that it wouldn't work and would sit down for a while. Similarly with the past experiment, Kohler noticed that the chimpanzees had a flash of insight and began to try to fix the two bamboo poles together and use that as an extension of their arm in order to reach the banana. Once again, they all experienced a flash of insight, but at varying levels of quickness as some figured it out faster than others. In both parts of the experiment, he noticed the chimpanzees experiencing a flash of insight, also known as a eureka moment, and suddenly being incredibly determined to do one specific thing. From this, he deduced that animals not only experienced trial and error, which was earlier theorized by fellow psychologist Edward Thorndike, but also insight learning. This went against what was believed at the time and proved that apes do have the mental capacity to experience these flashes of insight as humans do. This is significant as it was a radical revision to learning theory in terms of animal intelligence and behavior. It went against what was believed at the time and shown in past psychologists' experiments, this being the theory of trial and error learning originally theorized by Edward Thorndike and his puzzle box experiments. From Thorndike's box experiments, it was believed that animals only experienced trial and error learning and could only experience accidental success, eventually resulting in the correct process. Kohler's work went against this claim and proved that animals could not only experience what he called insight learning, but that the results could be replicated by various apes in several experimental conditions. This led to the mentality of apes being one of the most famous works in animal psychology today.